Hey everyone and welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Natalie and I usually have so many other people in my vlog. My boyfriend, my dog Cash, sometimes my parents, but today it's just going to be me and as you saw in the title, I'm going to be showing you where we moved our gym and a tour of our home gym. So we moved into this house about two years ago and we always had gym equipment and a home gym. And our first ever home gym at our house was above our garage. Currently we are in our garage. And it was above our garage in the bonus room and we had a lot of our equipment in there. And then we swapped two different rooms. So we also had a room where we kept all of our racing simulators and that was just a spare bedroom but we swapped them. So we put all of our racing simulators above the garage in the bonus room and turned that into a streaming room. And then we had the gym in the spare bedroom and it did not feel like a gym. It worked, it was nice, but it just didn't feel like a gym. So we decided to move our gym down here into the garage and use one of the stalls as a full gym. And I'm gonna give you a tour now. Before I give you a tour of the gym side of the garage, as you can see behind me, we have all of our dirt bikes. So one stall is dirt bikes and the other stall of the garage is the gym. We have all of these dirt bikes because my boyfriend has always had a dream of racing dirt bikes and for his birthday two years ago, I got him a dirt bike for his birthday with the help of my parents, us three, my parents and I, we surprised him. I think it was for his 24th, maybe it was his 25th. I don't know, he's getting kind of old. So that's this half of the garage. And in North Carolina, you cannot fit a truck in the garage. So that is why the truck is outside and why the gym equipment is inside. All right, now it's time for you all to see the gym. So when you first walk in, you're gonna see we have a station for cardio and we have an elliptical and we have our bike and we wanted to put a treadmill, but treadmills are so expensive. The cheapest one we could find was over $2,000. Now there are cheaper ones, but they weren't the quality that we wanted. So we're just gonna stick to our elliptical and our bike that we have for now. We ordered this really nice mat for when we moved the gym to the spare bedroom but I'm so glad we got it because it's super nice to have now in the garage and we laid it on half of the gym here in this, the one stall. In any home gym, you need to have mirrors. As you can see behind me, we have two big mirrors. We got them from Lowe's. They were not very expensive, but I think it's so important to have mirrors. You can see your progress, you can see your form, and it motivates you to have a mirror to see, see yourself working hard. So we have these two big, beautiful mirrors. We also have these free weights that we really like to use. They're really good and easy to use for an at-home gym. We also have this boxing unit that I got off of Amazon. It was also not very expensive. I thought it was gonna be really expensive, but I love it. I love boxing. I really enjoy doing it and it's good cardio, it's strength, and endurance, everything I need to prepare myself for a race weekend, I can do in a boxing routine or workout. We also have a bench, and I think it's really awesome that we got this because we can use it for multiple different things from jump squats to benching to dips. There's so many different things we can use on this bench, and that's why I thought it was really important to have for our home gym. It wouldn't take up a lot of space, and it was multi-purpose use. This is so much harder. I'm trying a new way of filming and it it's hard, but let me know if you like it. I'm trying to like up my vlogging game, but I might have to go back to just like, I don't know. I think it will turn out. Maybe I'll edit this part of me talking to you guys out, but I probably won't because I just want to tell you guys I'm kind of struggling filming this way, but I think it's going to turn out really good. Hopefully it does. <laughs> All right, enough with the tour. Now I'm gonna just show you how I utilize my gym and a simple workout that I do, not necessarily preparing for a race or preparing for anything, but just a workout that I enjoy doing daily. And I'm gonna bring you through a routine and how I utilize my gym. 
The first thing I really like to do is I like to get on either the elliptical or the bike and warm up from anywhere between 10 minutes and 30 minutes. And I do that because really my doctor told me to. I like doing cardio because it really helps with being a race car driver and staying fit with endurance and just having good cardio for inside the car. But truthfully, why I do such a long warm up is because my doctor recommended it for me. I really love using this boxing punching bag. Like I said earlier, I feel like boxing like this and really working your arms and your core really helps me as an athlete in the race car. And overall, it just gets my heart rate going, it helps my endurance, and it's fun. It's enjoyable to do, and it gets you out of breath really fast. When I'm working on my arms, I really like to focus on my shoulders and my back, and I really like doing body weight movements without any weights. I feel like it really targets the muscles for me, and with having rheumatoid arthritis, it doesn't put too much strain on my body, but I also really like using the free weights, and I do use them so I can build muscle and stay fit, but overall I really like doing the, the body weight and just doing movements that really target my back and my shoulders because those are the muscles that I really need to have strong and have endurance because those are the main muscles you use when you're racing. I always finish my workout with yoga. I mean, not always, but most of the time. I would say 95% of the time I finish my workout with yoga. And I do yoga a couple different ways. Sometimes I do deep stretch yoga and sometimes I do strength yoga. But for this video, I'm gonna show you some of the strength yoga I do. It's a lot of different stuff with downward dog and just you burn out your shoulders. Like it looks easy, like same with the movements I do with my arms that are just body weight movements that target certain muscles. It looks super easy, just like this yoga does. But let me tell you, it burns and it looks easy, but it's not and it will make you sore for days. And you can ask Derek, my boyfriend, he couldn't move for three days after I made him do my workouts. So that's a workout in my gym. I hope you enjoyed the gym tour, the location of the new gym. I hope you enjoyed this whole video. But I have to ask, and I've already asked this in a previous video. With my workouts that I do, I do mostly body weight. Like I've said in the past, it's because of my rheumatoid arthritis and it's just, I don't want to work out too hard or do something too much to my body to where the next day I wake up and I can't even do my normal work day or go grocery shopping or even go wake up and walk down the stairs to take the dog outside to go to the bathroom. So I have to really be self-aware and I've really learned my body and the things I can do over the last couple of years in the gym and just working out and working with trainers and I really found what works for me. So I've asked this in the past, really just once in a previous video, like the last video I just posted. Do you want to see a, like a full body weight routine workout that I do? Because I feel like I'm at my strongest and I've done most of my workouts and getting my strength through body weight. So if any of you want to see that, especially for those of you who don't you know, have the opportunity to go to a gym or to be able to afford the gym equipment, you'll be able to do this workout in your living room, in your bedroom, or if you travel a lot, you'll be able to do it in the hotel rooms. And I feel like that's why I've learned a lot of this is because I do travel a lot and I am busy, so it's hard to go and find a treadmill or to go find a boxing bag or free weights or whatever. And sometimes it's hard to find that. So I've really learned to do a lot of body weight stuff so please comment down below if you want to see a whole workout routine where I just do body weights. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. I love hanging out with you. And this was a new type of video. And I feel like, I hope it goes together well. I feel like it was really hard for me to film this. I had my garage doors open. 
my neighbors can hear me, people are walking their dogs, and it's kind of sprinkling out. People probably think I'm really crazy, because I'm like sitting here, they're like, who is she talking to? I'm just talking to myself. No, I'm talking to all you guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much. Thank you for supporting me, watching my videos, supporting my racing, supporting the Twitch channel, and all my other social platforms. Every social platform will be down in the description. So go follow me on all of it, and you can stay up to date on my racing and everything else. So I love you all so much, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye-bye for now.